We're here with Matt Hartzell. He's the founder and the executive director of Forgotten Children Worldwide, which is having its open house today for its new facility at 650 North Main Street. This basically across from Burger King. And he's going to kindly give us a brief short tour of what all is in this new facility and um, what they can do, what the community can do with it. Great. Well, you're standing here in our Orphan Hall of Advocacy, as you can see here. Okay. And our, our goal is when you walk into this room, uh, the whole vision is that you will understand what we're about just as you walk in the front door. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just kind of our way of saying, you know, this is what God is doing. Uh, around the world, there are 163 million orphans. Okay. And uh, children are, are just living in desperate poverty. Mm -hmm. And we saw our way of raising awareness, letting the world know uh, what's going on out there. And this is a win of a war. Mm -hmm. We can be a part of the solution. And that's what we're trying to do, raise awareness, mm -hmm. raise donations so that people can uh, be a part of the solution. Okay. Now, I see here you actually have have, if I correct, you actually have just specific stories yeah. here, is that, or? Yeah, well, it depends on, yeah, it depends mm -hmm. on which one you go to. Some are specific stories where you can see uh, lives that have been transformed. Okay. Uh, over here you can see uh, children, sorry, see children over here holding their letters. You can actually write your child. Uh, oh, okay. Child sponsorships are $25 a month, mm -hmm. and it's all 100%, that's what makes us unique from mm -hmm. other ministries, 100% goes to the child, mm -hmm. and uh, there's these kids are just showing you, hey, this is my letter that I received. Oh, excellent. And so that you, they can write twice a year uh, mm -hmm. to their child, and mm -hmm. the child writes twice a year to their sponsor. Okay, so this is the first thing people will see when they come into yes. the new building. Yep. The Orphan Hall of Advocacy. Uh, the Orphan Hall of Advocacy. Okay. <laughs> now these are all pictures you guys have taken. Did I hear that correct, yes. Mr. Rogers? Or? Yes, yeah, 100%. Okay. okay. No, they're not on Facebook or anything like that. Okay. Yep. So then we go through the entrance here. Yep. Now I'm curious quick. Jumbo. Yeah. Jumbo is a Swahili. It means uh, hello. Oh, okay. excellent. All right. Uh, and if you were to greet somebody in Swahili, they would probably say, see Jumbo. Back to you. All right. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to the main hallway here. Okay. Here's our main hall. And over to our right here, we have a, we don't have a receptionist yet. We are uh, mostly volunteer based. We okay. We have one full-time employee. So we're hoping somebody's going to be sitting behind that volunteering here very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, over here at our far right is our stewardship office. We, see, uh, we have a CFO and a, and a bookkeeper that work there, volunteer their time for us. Mm -hmm. uh, very generous. This is this is interesting over here. This is our mm -hmm. self-sustainability self store. Mm -hmm. And um, what makes this unique is what we're going to do is uh, children are in an orphan home, and when they're in an orphan home, they're protected from being trafficked. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So as long as you can keep them there, you're kind of sheltering them from being trafficked. Mm -hmm. But what happens is once they leave an orphan home, they could still be trafficked, and they're vulnerable. Right. And so what this is, is, is helps them have income generation, or, mm -hmm. you know, income uh, ability to generate income. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what they do is maybe make some bracelets. You want to come here? I'll sure, yeah. I'd love to see you. Here's examples, uh, for instance, uh, a child would maybe make these bracelets, uh -huh. and they make X amount of money. Mm -hmm. They will ship those over to us, we'll buy them, mm -hmm. and they have dignity of, a, of an actual, you know, of a job, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. And so they, are, they have a dignified work, mm -hmm. and um, so that will be sold here in this physical store, but mm -hmm. also in an online store. Okay. So we take that money, and we reinvest that back into them. So mm -hmm. it's a kind of a self-sustainability project, right. keeps kids out of trafficking. Okay. And from what I understand, this store is currently open. Uh, it is. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it's it's in its very, very early stages. Oh, right, stages, right. But, but, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. uh, as of today, it's uh, very start. But it's right. going to expand a lot here in the next six months. Okay. Now, you mentioned out there, and I hesitate to ask this question because right. the details is probably very sure. infinitely. Right. But, you know, some kids, I imagine they're getting out. I mean, we think in America they age out of the foster care 18. Sometimes they can even stick around till. 21 sometimes. Yeah. I assume that's not the case in a lot of countries. Yeah, a lot of countries, you're, you pretty much have to hit the road, you know, in some, in some orphanages, not, a, not ours, but mm -hmm. in uh, some, you're out at 16. Okay. Uh, most, you know, the ones we work with, again, we try to do orphan homes, not orphanages. Right, more orphanages, group home facilities? Yeah, a little, little smaller kind mm -hmm. of thinking. Um, we have some what would qualify as orphanages, but we like to think orphan homes, smaller, more intimate. Mm -hmm. and we also do foster care okay. uh, kind of families, too. Okay. So, we don't want to be responsible for we're storehousing children. Right. So it's, we're not a storehouse for them, but we give them that intimate care. They all get to know the love of Jesus Christ, and it's a pretty exciting thing. All right. Well, we can continue. We're good? All right. All right.
Let's see here. Okay. Uh, do you want to see all the rooms? Um, well, let's see. Um, I know that they used to have behind Hope Church. You actually had the shipping and sorting. Yes, uh -huh. I assume that's back there, that's back correct? There. I mean, you have got a couple offices here. Yeah. And I don't know if you were upside. This is kind of exciting. Yeah. Um, Jeremy Roger was telling me about this. Okay, I'd like to. Are you good? You want me to tell? No, I'd like. Yeah. Let's have so people at home here can okay. see it. Yeah, this is this is pretty exciting. This is uh, we call this our uh, Hall of Champions, okay. Home of Champions, Home of Champions, and uh, that's one of our orphan homes that we have in okay. uh, in India. Mm -hmm. And so we named it after. It's really a community room. Mm -hmm. We hope people in the community, Northeast Indiana, will come and, and, and use this just for you know kind of small donation, just to help us keep the lights on, so okay. to speak. And uh, so we're, we you know hold 50, 60 people at least. Okay, at that's least. that's about the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. and uh, so we're hoping people will take advantage of it in our community, and we're going to do some things with mentoring in here, okay. and some tutoring, uh, we do a pre-marriage class in here, All right. so it's really, this is very much open for the community to use. Okay. So. And whom should they contact if they would like to they learn more? just call more. here at the office, uh, okay. probably Jeremy Rogers uh, okay. here at the office, we'll schedule that. And that number? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we'll put it online, okay. we'll put it on the video, we'll get that edited in there. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I think that's about it. Any other well, kind of Did you see the packing room? Let's see the packing room that's quickly. Okay. Room. okay. Yes, yes. If you would do that, that would be great. Um, so now, let's something see. something else you might be yeah. interested in. There's a, a ministry called Alive and Well. It's an abstinence ministry. Okay. And uh, they also... Uh, we give them a really good deal on some rental here, so they have their office here, okay. right at 650 North Main, mm -hmm. and uh, they have the office right back here. Okay. And their, you know, their donation then helps us kind of pay the lights and things like that. Oh, so excellent! It's kind of a win-win cooperation mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Here's uh, we call this the Matthew 25 Packing Center. Okay. Uh, you know, basically the idea of you know taking care of the poor and, the, and the, those that need uh, clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, these fine folks right here uh, may help make this thing uh, mm -hmm. click like it should. And you see all the bins and things right here. They they take the clothing. Uh, it's dropped through that little drop box over there. The clothing uh, comes in. Oh, okay. Uh, community can come through. It's kind of like a library drop box. Mm -hmm. Only it will take a large uh, plastic bag. Drop it off there. And here they sort it, mm -hmm. and pack it. Okay. And uh, you see the, the wall here. They have this all nicely uh, decorated. Oh it yes. It's also be a place of awareness. Okay. You want to raise awareness, not just not just about clothing. It's. Uh, Want people to know what the need is out there. Okay. All right. Here's a little African hut. It's it's a pretty close replica of what you might see in Africa. There's okay. a cement floor. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of African huts here. You know, it's not uncommon to find 10, 12 people in a hut this size. Oh, I see. I can't tell you exactly what this is, but it's probably 12 by 8. No. Something like that. Would they have a tarp or would it be more thatch? It, it depends. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, a lot of times it's tin or okay. thatch, but a lot of times they're holes. If you got yeah. this, you're lucky. Yeah, that, that would be a nice. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, the children are just stacked in there on top of each other, and mm -hmm. they really are truly warehoused uh, sometimes. Indeed. You can see some of these pictures. We kind of give you a. This is a real life picture we took just two months ago, and um, we were in uh, Nairobi, okay. Kenya. And this is called the Kabira Slum. And, you know, there's raw sewage just flowing down through, and mm. there's, there's trash everywhere. Uh, I don't know how graphic you want me to get, but it's even things like this. I always wondered why all these plastic bags look, look like Walmart bags. Why are they everywhere? Mm -hmm. Those are called flying toilets. And uh, people who live in the slums are, are, are scared to go outside at night. Of course, they don't have plumbing in their house. Right. So they have to go to the bathroom in a bag, they tie it up and fling it out the window. Uh, so, you know, that's, and, you know, they don't know any better. Yeah. And it causes disease and... So mm. If we can raise awareness for you know what's going on there, that's, yeah. that's a wonderful thing. All right. And I believe the total facility is about, I think Jeremy Rogers said about 10,000 square give or, feet. Give or take around 10,000 square feet. And you have six bays total, three of which are dedicated for the sh sorting mm -hmm. and the uh, shipping and all yep. that. And mm -hmm. three bays, we'll see how the Lord takes it with yeah. those, right? Yeah, we're going to wait and see. Uh, mm -hmm. It could be some kind of local ministry here. We're going to mm -hmm. kind of see what happens. So, right. Did you get a chance to see the packing area? Let's go back to okay. the packing area. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. We call this the Fishers and Men Distribution Center. Okay. Uh, Fishers and Men is a, a new ministry we just uh, partnered with in Kenya. Okay. So we uh, named it after that particular ministry. Okay. -do. All these boxes here are uh, donated by Pretzels Incorporated at Bluffton. Oh, okay. Uh, they've been doing that for us now for 13 years. Oh, all right. They donate, and we've been around since 1999. Mm -hmm. And they donate all these boxes, which again saves us. Everything you saw today, almost everything was, was donated. Mm -hmm. So the community has just been beautiful, and we are so grateful uh, to the community. Excellent. Uh, volunteers so much uh, time and energy and mm -hmm. resources. See here, all these uh, boxes. Yeah. Um, 
There's uh, probably a couple thousand boxes oh, yeah. here now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting ready to ship about uh, 900 of them. Mm -hmm. Put about 900 boxes in a container. Be roughly 20,000 pounds, mm -hmm. and that'll be going over to Hyderabad, uh, India, here in just the next couple of weeks. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, excellent. Well, thank you, sir, very much thank for the you. tour, Appreciate and Lord you. willing, many blessed years Great. to you. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Been mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Yep.